Moving on, the battle for shelf space, mindshare and positioning is something that makers of shampoos and soaps are rather familiar with. But the new frontier in this battle is the continent of Africa with both Darbur and Godrej looking to expand their presence in the continent. The battle is heating up. Here's more. Just two months after completing FEMS acquisition in the Indian market, Darbur is now looking for global buys. NDTV learns they have bid for Nigerian company Tura International, which sells personal care products in West Africa and Europe. But for that, they will now have to compete with Godrej, as even they have been evaluating Tura for over a month now. Tura is a subsidiary of UK-based Lona Meat Group, which is owned by NRI Mike Jatania and has global brands like Yardley of London. The company has a dominant position in Nigeria's soaps and skincare market. Both Dabur and Godrej are looking to expand their international operations. And Tura, with its reach in African and European markets, can help them do just that. And analysts feel that markets like Africa, which is highly underpenetrated, can offer long-term benefit vis-a-vis -vis the Indian market, which is slowly getting saturated. I think it's an attractive market. Second reason, of course, is look at the competition at home. It is tough. So probably, you know, one part of growth strategy could be getting across to new geographies where the, you don't have so many strong players or where they're severely underpenetrated, where the potential is far larger. And companies from these markets also come with cheaper valuations. But both Dabur and Godrej are not taking chances and have readied substantial war chests to see them through this African safari. With Sagar Malvia, Rohan Badkar for NDTV Profit.